Welcome to the Master Dealmaker's Secrets Podcast. And now, here's sales growth strategist, John Blake. Welcome to Master Dealmaker Secrets. I'm John Blake. This is episode 132. And today we're going to talk about generic sales training versus customized sales training. So really good subject to get stuck into today. But in the meantime, if you've got leads that you haven't yet converted into paying clients, I want you to head over to johnblakeaudio.com and I want you to grab my free audio training that shows you the precise strategy that you can use to double sales with your existing leads in your pipeline right now. This is the exact strategy that I teach my high ticket clients that work with me over a 12 month period, works really consistently. It essentially addresses leverage point number six that I work with clients on. This is, a, this is my whole system for leverage point number six, which is the follow-up part, which is the part that most people give up on. I think 44% of salespeople give up after one follow-up. Uh, the average number of follow-ups that I would have my clients tell me that they actually volunteer this information, uh, the number of times that they would follow up after they've actually submitted a quote is two times. And they reckon 80% of sales are made after the fifth follow-up and only half, uh, sorry, only 20% of people buy in the first 90 days, another 30% of people will buy in the first two years. So there is a massive opportunity. This template will show you exactly how to do it, johnblakeaudio.com. Not only will you get the audio training, what you'll get is a PDF guide that'll give you the exact word for word scripts, everything that you need to say, everything that you need to write in your emails, what to say when you call them, when to call and when to email over a 90 day period, put it into practice and make it work for you. It is my pleasure to provide you with this particular system. I developed it myself out of necessity um, and I've taught it to that many people over the years. I think you'll get a stack of value out of it. It's over at johnblakeaudio.com. Okay, so we're going to talk about the difference between generic sales training and customized sales training. So um, both, I want to start by saying both are useful, right? Um, generic is better. So I have this thing called the conversion triangle. And if you are using a generic sales process, and by generic, what I mean is that you learned it from somebody who didn't really have an, a specific niche, right? So, um, you know, example might be Tom Hopkins or Zig Ziglar or, you know, some of those th those type guys. Um, what's, what goes on there is it's better than having no system at all. So having a system is way better than having no system at all. Typically what I find is that you will you will have around about 20% conversion in your business if you use a, a generic sales process. So what happens with a generic sales process, so it's basically a one size fits all. They've, the, the person that you have learned it from has essentially applied this particular process to um, if you are a butcher, baker, candlestick maker. And so uh, an example of that is a pretty well-known sales training guy uh, you know, touts his process as, as being the process that you can use for any, you know, selling anything to anyone. Yet, because I have seen so many different sales processes, and I've pretty much bought every single system out there, what I noticed is that this guy uses the, it's basically the, it's it's what they teach car salespeople. Um, and it's it's actually a really good, system if you if you're selling cars but it really is something that he's just sort of developed probably to start off with for car sales people and then now and now he just sells it to everybody and says that it'll work for every everyone uh, which it doesn't so so what happens is that you if, if it's not relevant to what you're selling people can switch off um, it will it will absolutely alienate some people they'll just fold their arms and they'll say oh this isn't relevant for what we do um, what percentage of those people uh, you know, I don't think it would be over half, but a, a good percentage of people will will switch off um, because they'll feel like it's not relevant for them. And there are another percentage of people that actually can make the distinction. So they can take a principle 
and they can then go, okay, well, I can see how that applies. Or they can build the bridge in their head from the principle to what that actually looks like for their particular industry or their, their particular sales context. Um, especially if someone's brand new, it's hard for them to build that bridge. If they don't have an understanding of sales, um, they'll, they'll hear something and they go, well, that's not relevant to what we do, and they'll switch off, which means it can backfire. And, and ultimately what it means is that you've got some people that will embrace that and will use it and will get a result with it, and you'll have some people where it'll have little or no result. So if you are going to have somebody deliver a generic sales type training, you want to make sure that there is a good process on a, a good focus on principles. Because if you, if you get the principles right, then it makes it easier for the person to build the bridge from the principles to the specifics of what that looks like in your particular sales process. So the, the, the second, the, the second uh, scenario is, is a customized program. So a customized program can go so much further because it can acknowledge the lexicon for your particular industry. And by lexicon, I mean... What are the words that people use? You know, what, what's the, the jargon, you know, that people use? You can make it relevant to the people that are sitting there by using the correct language that they would use and that their clients would use in an actual sales conversation. Um, it will acknowledge context. So you can actually, you know, create the exact scenarios that each person is operating in and you can apply new thinking and new frameworks and new language to those particular scenarios and you can create context. The third thing is that it will, you can actually literally give them exactly what to say in each scenario. And, and for, again, for someone who's new, that's pretty good because if someone's like really green and you can give them exactly what to say and it's coming from a place of authority and it's relevant and it, and it acknowledges context and it acknowledges the industry that they're in and it acknowledges the product that they're selling, it makes it a lot, you're going to get a lot higher take up with that particular person. It also makes the process scalable. So I am in the process of finishing a program that we just put, we just made into videos uh, and we are going to upload them into this particular company's learning management system so that new people that join the team can get put in front of this training. I've done this now for at least 10 different companies where we will create a system we will road test the system, we'll make sure that the system's working in the field, and then we will capture it because we know that it works, we're confident that it works, it's giving us the results that we want, and we can upload it into a, an online sales training system, which means that we can put that in front of somebody to bring them up to speed very quickly and very efficiently and very cost-effectively um, before they actually get let loose on a paying client. So it means you're scalable and it's also adjustable. So you can make slight tweaks um, if you've got something that's, uh, that's generic, you know, where there's, where there's a support and an ongoing support system in place. So I hope that helps. And look, you know, in terms of helping people to build sales processes, that's pretty much what I do. <laughs> so if you, need a hand, if you need a hand doing that, uh, feel free to just let me know. I, I, I can be very easily found. If you type in John Blake sales into Google, you will find me and you can send me a, uh, a connection request. That's probably the easiest one. Most people are probably driving around listening to this. So uh, yeah, don't, I don't want you to have a crash and write down my email address or anything. Just uh, type John Blake sales into Google, fill out the contact form. And I've got a couple of different programs that I offer that cater for different size businesses. So there's bound to be a way that I can help you. So once again, thank you for listening. I very much appreciate you lending me your ears <laughs> uh, when you check this out and I will look forward to hearing from you soon and I'll talk to you on the next, next podcast. Cheers. You've been listening to Master Dealmaker's Secrets with John Blake. Subscribe to get more in-depth strategies to maximize your sales process with new episodes every week. And double your inquiry to sale conversion with the lead flow you already have. Go to johnblakeaudio.com for his exclusive free no-fluff audio training and companion PDF guide.